Game of Thrones season six, episode five and six, The Door and Blood of My Blood. <laughs> is that right? Yep. Why are you laughing? Because. <laughs> Man, this show to me is at its best when Littlefinger is involved. Oh, mm. like, and I hate to say that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But seeing that recap really just reminded me what's up. Yeah, he's been MIA for a little bit. Isn't this exciting that this is like non book territory? So it can go anywhere? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what everybody's been saying. <sighs> When this is all said and done, we should definitely read the books or audio book it for sure. 100%. You know what this show feels like? When you're a kid at the flea market and you get to get the grab bag and you don't know what's in oh, it. Oh, it's like a mystery. Yeah, these two episodes, anything can happen. Yes. Oh, yeah, Seamstress yeah, Sansa. <gasps> Little finger. How far is Mole's town? Near the wall, because that's where Gilly was. Dangerous place to be. Sansa. She looks so cool. I love it. Lady Brienne. You have no idea how happy I am to see you unharmed. Unharmed? What are you doing here? I rode north for the Knights of the Vale to come to your aid. Come to my aid? Did you know about Ramsay? If you didn't know, you're an idiot. If you did know, you're my enemy. Would you like to hear about our wedding night? Yeah, I don't either. <clears throat> he never hurt my face. He needed my face, the face of Ned Stark's daughter. But the rest of me, he did what he liked with the rest of me. As long as I could still give him an heir. I can't begin to contemplate. What do you think he did to me? Okay, Sansa, I like this. Yeah, she's standing up to him. Lady Sansa asked you a question. And the cosign, I like it too. I beat you. Maybe you did know about Ramsay all along, thought you knew everyone's secrets. I made a mistake. A horrible mistake. I underestimated a stranger. The other things he did, ladies aren't supposed to talk about those things, but I imagine brothel keepers talk about them all the time. I can still feel it. I don't mean in my tender heart. It still pains me so. I can still feel what he did in my body standing here right now. I'm so sorry. You said you would protect me. And I will. You must believe me when I tell you that I will. I don't need you anymore. You can't protect me. You won't even be able to protect yourself if I tell Brienne to cut you down. Why shouldn't I? You want me to beg for my life? If that's what you want, I will. Whatever you ask that is in my power, I will do. You freed me from the monsters who murdered my family, and you gave me to other monsters who murdered my family. Right. Go back to Mac Kaelin. Yeah, even my worse. and I will take back the North on our own. I never want to see you again. I would do anything to undo what's been done to you. I don't believe him. He was stirring the pot with Cersei, you want me? You allow me to say one more thing before I go. Your great uncle, Brendan, the Blackfish. He's gathered what remains of the Tully forces and retaken River Run. You might consider seeking him out. The time may come when you need an army loyal to you. I have an army. Your brother's army. It's not bad advice, but coming from Littlefinger, you he just, just never hates know. to do anything he asks you to do. <laughs> oh, he's he's trying to divide her and John up, said half brother. This thing is intense. And then there's Arya over there. <laughs> I'm ready to see her smack that girl in the face. <laughs> oh. She really might not be ready then. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah, you're not ready, are you? That's a soldier right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. You'll never be one of us, Lady Stark. Man, he always shows up when she's doing something wrong. She has a point. <laughs> None of the first faceless men were born to lords and ladies. They began as slaves in the mines of Valyria. Who was the first? He was no one. <laughs> Is it the many always answer? <laughs> many served. Many more gifts were given. Soon all the masters and overseers were gone. And the faceless men fled. Where did they go? Here. They founded the free city of Bravos and built this house. These were the faces they wore in life when they were not wearing others. The first faceless men. The founders, eh? Hey. And now a girl is one of them. If a girl desires. I don't know, Arya. A girl has no desires. And that's that Valor Magulis water? Yeah. An actress who calls herself Lady Crane. She performs She's in the Ken. <laughs> a girl has been given a second chance. There will not be a third. One way or Frank another. Three, baby. A face will be added to the hall. Yes, you better succeed. Pressure on her. <laughs> Kills him. Oh. <laughs> Is it Robert? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh! <clears throat> oh, the down. Fireball! The great big hairy whore! <laughs> and dug out my guts! And soon I am no more! <laughs> well, come bed, you must lie! Is that Joffrey? I love you, father. Please don't die. Oh, you you Cersei, oh, yeah. Cersei, more wine! What's she look like? 
I feel the winds of winter as they lick across the land. And our son alone on that cold, cold throne, without a guiding hand. To whom will he turn Taiwan? when it's time to learn to look <laughs> darkness in the face? Ned Stark will do fine. Now bring me more wine. Ooh. He brought you here, Ned Stark, because you're the brightest fellow in the land. You should be king of us all. Is that Tyrion? And I should be your hand. We men of the North are right good hands at keeping people lawful. I'd ask him for permission, but he smells too bloody awful. <laughs> yeah, she ain't liking this. It's too close to home. Mm -hmm. Will you stay on as Joffrey's hand? The Iron Thrones, what I demand. You cannot. I can't. You will not. I will. You dead. The line of succession. What's that mean? The proper progression. What's that mean? The lawful ascension. What's that mean? <laughs> Wow. Why are they playing my boy up like that? Like he wasn't the, the propaganda. best. We write history. He's in power. Move along, give me my chair, and there won't be no more trouble. <laughs> I'm starting to think you can't be trusted. Boy, Ari is about to make a disturbance. <laughs> Where's she at? Oh, there she is. Save my father. Truly, <laughs> killing the man will do you no good. Save Show him mercy. Show the people what a good king should be. Good people, you may all relax. She'll be spared this. <laughs> oh, that's no joke. That's season one, episode nine. All is well. I have here a decree from my father, Tywin Lannister. He proclaims me hand of the king. The position's mine for life. And he's given me permission to take Sansa as my wife. <laughs> You'll learn that what I lack in height, I make up for in appetite. Oh, let's forget about your plight and go rehearse our wedding night. That was a rated R play. May I get you some wine, Lady Crane? I'm a rum girl, Bobono. You need to know that if we're going to be intimate. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> what? To our children. May they have your talent and your filthy mind. I guess it's because of the play. Oh. If a girl could use one of the faces from the hall, the girl is not ready. She's a good actress. She seems like a decent woman. Who wants her dead? That does not matter. The girl must decide if she wants to serve the many-faced god. Arya's having a, uh... A servant. A moral epiphany. Dilemma, yeah. Just doing some working over here. I know, it's really, like, scary. <laughs> Just hanging out with the three eye. No big deal. Who's that? Yeah, why are they about to sacrifice this dude? <laughs> Uh, you know, that was probably just the children of the forest forming the first, you know, white. But it looked like uh, the thing that Sam stabbed that White Walker with. Are you, you made the White Walkers. We were at war. Oh, she did make the we White Walkers. Sorted. We needed to defend ourselves. From whom? From you. From you? From men. Oh, snap. Hold on. Babe, so the children of the forest created the White Walkers to help them fight the men because oh. they were losing the war. The children of the forest were losing the war to the animals. But eventually men erected that wall and really put themselves ahead of the war for like a long time. That's crazy. Why do my headphones always have to go? I know. So annoying. What in tarnation? <clears throat> this is crazy backstory. This is we're good. Yeah, let's go. And we thought y'all were the good guys. So they tied that man up and just... We speak in the presence of the drowned him. god. In his name, we gather today to choose a new king as our leader. Who makes a claim? I am Yara Greyjoy, daughter of Balon Greyjoy, king of the Iron Islands. I claim the salt throne. We've never had a queen. Not once. There are many things we've never done. The great lords of Westeros pay us no mind until our little raids buzz through their kingdoms long enough to become a nuisance. Then they swat us down. They conquer us and go right back to forgetting we exist. Aye. We are a sea Aye. people. Our god is a sea god. That's right. When I am queen, we will build a fleet that you likes that I queen. am not finished. Yes, you are. <laughs> A woman will not lead us, not when Balon's own male heir has returned. No, that's Reek. Yeah, but he doesn't know what happened to him. Uh-oh, what's this moment gonna be? <sighs> Nervy. I am Theon Greyjoy, last living son of Balon Greyjoy. And she is your rightful ruler. Those of you that have sailed under her, and there are many of you here, you know what she is. Yes. She is a reaver. She is a warrior. She's she a is iron-born. We will find no better leader 
Well, they're this agreeing. Is our queen. Like, why are they waiting on Theon to say it? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, why, why is he the leader? They thought he slithered his way in there for a reason. I don't know. <laughs> he just showed I'm up the night before the great election. Joy. Uh -oh. I claim the salt throne. Who is this? You're wrong. This is a dude who killed the dad. Yeah, he just Doing busted him bridge. up on the bridge. <laughs> Jack, no. No, he was like, hell. Nephew. He's had a cut. Little Theon. He hey buddied him. Heard you managed to fuck things right into the ground. Captured a castle you couldn't keep. Got yourself taken prisoner. Even heard you have no cock. He was Damn, out of man. <laughs> out That's of just something you don't everybody. talk about. Think a woman can be king. When did you return, Uncle? A few days ago. I had some things to take care of. Long overdue. I'm glad you're here. Now I know what my first act as queen will be. To execute the man who killed my father. Oh, detective. I did. I killed him. Threw him right over a road bridge. He was leading us nowhere. And we would still be heading there if it weren't for me. No one loved him. No one wanted to follow him. He led us into two wars we couldn't win. I apologize to you all for not killing him years ago. That would have been hard to do. You weren't here. That's what I was about to say. I didn't need to show up. Hunting around the world, having a grand old time. Gallivanting. That's the sort of thing you start to say once your dick gets chopped off. <laughs> but the great lords of Westeros teach you words like that. <laughs> you were gone. Yara was here, being Ironborn, leading Ironborn, getting ready to bring us back to glory. And how will she do that? I will build the largest fleet the world has ever seen. Let's go. Right idea. Except I'm the one who's going to build the Iron Fleet because I'm the one who knows how to use it. I've been all over the world. I've seen more of it than all of you combined. And across the sea, there is a person who hates the great lords of Westeros just as much as we do. Daenerys? Is he about to team up with Three Daenerys? <gasps> and no, no husband. <laughs> I'm going to build that fleet and I'm going to gallivant right over and give it to Daenerys Targaryen. You're going to seduce the Dragon Queen? I'm not going to seduce her. The Iron Fleet will seduce her. And together we're going to take the Seven Kingdoms. I wasn't born to be king. How you feel about I that? I just Iron didn't price. see that coming. <laughs> And here I stand. Like this guy just knocks your boy off a bridge and is gonna marry Daenerys out of nowhere. That's his that's his claim to be the king. And I was like, yeah, you're wrong. He's gonna he's gonna play Donkey Kong Bridge with games with that guy. Oh, he gets baptized. What is dead may never die. Oh my god. Rosa, you man. That you're on your servant, be born again from the sea as you were. Bless him with salt. Bless him with stone. Bless him with steel. Are they leaving? He is speaking to us, and he says, We shall have no king but you are on grey joy. Let the sea wash your follies and your fanatism. <laughs> they away. chose him really quick, Maybe and he's like drowning. <laughs> but his lungs fill with seawater. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Are they Better killing run. him? What is dead may never die, but rises again harder and stronger. So they have to get like knocked out? <laughs> they just want to make sure he gets a little brain damage before he comes. Before he comes the age. leader? <laughs> Did they overdo it? Overcooked his ass. No way, right? <laughs> like, Spit up the water, bro. Like the leaders, the other leaders just left. <laughs> Dude. Oh my God. There we go. I thought they were gonna have to go resort to them and then they weren't gonna be there. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. They are. <laughs> they're the scruffiest looking bunch of, er like, out of every character on the show. They're definitely the worst. What they pay dead? the iron price. Absolutely. They never die. No offense, bro, but I don't think you really deserve it. Why is it water? Nephew, let's go murder. Come on, they put some logs on his head for <laughs> they, He said, let's go murder him. <laughs> Not Ironborn, hell, boy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he knocked one off the bridge, boy. I can't even deal with that. They're the Lord of the Flies out there. <laughs> <laughs> they stole our best ships. Won't be enough to save them. Where are they gonna go though? <laughs> like, homes, drop down every tree you can find. Quarter salt the timber and start building. I want every man bending planks. I want every woman spinning flax for sails. <laughs> <laughs> build me a <laughs> ships. What? And Who I is this guy? <laughs> You gotta earn your stripes before you telling me to chop down my trees, boy. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Don't get mad at us. I know so many people are gonna get pissed off. We understand the intense seriousness of this moment, but you gotta understand, from our perspective, that was just out of nowhere. Like, this man pulls up, knocks a guy off the bridge, wasn't here. Commits treason. <laughs> <laughs> Commits treason. Says he's gonna marry Daenerys, the big ambition. 
has like a support of like 20 and then and tells, tells them they have to like chop grandpas nothing. to go build a fleet <laughs> wait what the hell this, this is the, but let me tell you this man is like you know you know when they, you know biggest. when there's those skits where people like are on cocaine and have like <laughs> yeah. business ideas this man's on cocaine straight <laughs> up <laughs> he, when he was under the water he was snorting something man came up freaking crazy <laughs> ambitious i've never seen it before <laughs> he's like i've seen it in the waves <laughs> <laughs> all right all right i'm not making fun of your on no more okay <laughs> we gotta get serious all right let's go i support the ambition oh man i hope that's a 20-year plan like Stannis. i hope that's the 20-year plan at least right <laughs> Solid. 999 i banished you twice you came back twice and you saved my life so i can't take you back and i can't send you away you must send me away hmm we can cut it off, though. History and lore. Is there a cure? How long does it take? I've seen what happens when it goes far enough. I'll end things before that. I'm so sorry. Don't be. All I've ever wanted was to serve you. Aww. Mm -hmm. Tyrion Lannister was right. I love you. What? Dang. Her costume right now, always cool, though. I'll always love you. Goodbye, Khaleesi. <laughs> Dang, man. Do not walk away from your queen, Jorah the Andal. You have not been dismissed. Look at her hair. I know. You pledged yourself to me. You swore to obey my commands for the rest of your life. It's like Death Rocky buried vibe. I command you to heal yourself and then return to me. When I take the seven kingdoms, I need you by my side. Dang. Let's go. Please figure it out. <laughs> I know a girl who says she's got some really bad numbness in her foot and she's kind of out there. So she's on a mission to go search the world for medicine to heal her foot. So <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> She is. She is. That's the truth. There really is a girl like that. Yeah, that kind of reminded me of that hard. But that's so sad, though. But you know, potentially we'll figure out what the cure is. You know who I hope he doesn't go to? I hope he doesn't go to Kyborn or whatever his name is. In the right. Fortnight since oh. our pact with the masters, how many killings have been carried out by the sons of the harpy? None. And how many masters have been butchered by the free men? Two. But that was the day of the pact. So it's safe to say that a fragile peace has taken hold. For now. For now is the best we get in our profession. It's not enough. Considering the city was on the brink of civil war, I'd say it's a good start. They need to know Daenerys is responsible for it. The Sons of the Harpy have a good story. Resist the foreign invaders. Our queen has an even better story. Mother of dragons, breaker of chains, all that. Campaign slogans. <laughs> right. people know who brought them freedom? Yes, but do they know who brought them security? Who brought about an end to the violence? We need someone the people trust. Someone they know cannot be bought or influenced. Sounds like quite the hero. Where will we find him? Who said anything about him? Oh, it's a Melisandre. That's about the extent of my Valyrian. <laughs> Thank you for traveling all this way. The truth is, we need your help. We'd hope that we could somehow persuade you to you don't need to persuade me i came to help daenerys stormborn is the one who was promised from the fire she was reborn to remake the world she has freed the slaves from their chains and crucified the masters for their sins she did indeed her dragons are fire made flesh a gift from the lord of light you heard all of this before haven't you on the long bridge of Atlantis? oh so if she thinks she's like stannis to melisandre that's crazy. Burning their sins and flesh away. Ideally, we'd avoid purifying too many non-believers. The Mother of Dragons has followers of many different faiths. You want your queen to be worshipped and obeyed. And while she's gone, you want her advisors to be worshipped and obeyed. I'd settle for obeyed. Right. Mm -hmm. I will summon my most eloquent priests. They will spread the word. Daenerys has been sent to lead the people against the darkness. In this war, and in the great war still to come. Sounds most a excellent. A named Stannis Baratheon was anointed as the chosen one by one of your priestesses. He too had a glorious destiny. And he's dead, bro. Right. He was soundly defeated by the man standing beside me. Last I'd heard, he'd been defeated again. This time at Winterfell. And this time for good. We'd be most grateful for any support you could provide the Queen. I suppose it's hard for a fanatic to admit a mistake. Isn't that the whole point of being a fanatic? You're always right. <laughs> Everything is the Lord's will. Everything is the Lord's will. But men and women make mistakes. Even honest servants of the Lord. And you, an honest servant of the Lord? Why should I trust you to know any more than the priestess who counsels Stannis? My friend has a healthy skepticism of religion, but we are all loyal supporters of the Queen. <laughs> 
Reel it in, Bubba. Terrible things happen for a reason. Take what happened to you, Lord Varys, when you were a child. Dang. If not for your mutilation at the hand of a second-rate sorcerer, you, you wouldn't better start be believing. helping the Lord's Chosen bring his light into the world. Knowledge has made you powerful, but there's still so much you don't know. Do you remember what you heard that night when the sorcerer tossed your parts in the fire? Dang. You heard a voice call out from the flames. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember it scared him to death. Mm-hmm. Should I tell you what the voice said? Should I tell you the name of the one who spoke? We serve the same queen. If you are her true friend, you have nothing to fear from me. Mine is when you take that necklace off. Man, she's gonna have them out there burning Tyrion soon. Oh, hope not. I wish I could see that. What? What was that was is so dark. <laughs> it's probably the TV settings. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we probably need to turn it up a little bit. <laughs> See, I can definitely see that. Doesn't that look like? Yeah, it's the pattern. Daenerys's. That's like the bodies were in season one. That's what I'm saying. That pattern. Oh yeah, my. The pattern. Look at the army right there. He sees them. That's an easy army to feed, isn't it? Whoa. I don't care if he's Worgen or not. I still wouldn't be walking in the middle of them. Mm -mm. I'm scared he's going to see someone he knows. The White Walker right there. Gosh, the White Walker, the Honcho. Uh-uh. The Night King, he saw me. He touched you. I don't know, he was close, but... He touched you. Yeah, he did. <gasps> he knows you're here, he'll come for you. But he can't get in. He can now. His mark is on you. Man, you should have told him not to let him touch him then. Did you tell him that? I mean, maybe he just thought he wouldn't be like gallivanting in those like... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Memories. The time has come. The time for what? For you to become me. Am I ready? No. Oh, he started it. We can't the north from the walkers and the south from the Boltons. If we want to survive, we need Winterfell. And to take Winterfell, we need more men. Aside from the Starks and the Boltons, the most powerful houses in the north, the Umbers and the Karstarks have already declared for the Boltons, so we're not doing so well there. The Umbers gave Rickon to our enemies. They can hang. But the Karstarks declared for Ramsay without knowing they had another choice. Oh, I beg your pardon, my lady, but they know that a Stark beheaded their father. I don't but yeah, but it's a new regime. Either. Right, but they still are it's on like Ramsay's side. How well do you know the North, Sir Davos? Precious little, my lady. <laughs> my father always said Northerners are different more loyal, more suspicious of outsiders. They may well be loyal, but how many rose up against the Boltons when they betrayed your family? I may not know the North, but I know men. They're more or less the same in any corner of the world, and even the bravest of them don't want to see their wives and children skinned for a lost cause. John's going to convince them to fight alongside him. They need to believe it's a fight they can win. There are more than three other houses in the North. Glover, Mormont, Kerwin, Mason, Hornwood. Two dozen more. Together they equal all the others. We can start small and build. The North remembers. They remember the Stark name. People will still risk everything for it from White Harbor to Ramsay's own door. But John doesn't have the Stark name. No, but I do. John is every bit as much Ned Stark's son as Ramsay is Roose Bolton's. And there are also the Tullys. They're not Northern, but they will back us against the Boltons without question. I didn't know the Tullys still had an army. My uncle, the Blackfish, has reformed it and retaken River Run. How do you know that? Oh. Ramsay received a raven before I escaped Winterfell. Ooh, she knows. That's good. The Blackfish is a legend. His support would mean a great deal. Stark, Tully, a few more houses. Almost starts to look like a win inside. I've sworn to protect you, my lady. But how does she even know that's true, you know? Right, exactly. I can't risk Ramsay intercepting it. It has to be you. Ride for everyone. My uncle will talk to you and you'll know how to talk to him. What is it? I don't like leaving you here alone. With John? Not him. He seems trustworthy. A bit brooding, perhaps. <laughs> I suppose it's understandable, considering. Davos and the Red Woman helped a man murder his own brother with blood magic. And when Stannis paid for his crime, where were they? Already out looking for a leader with better prospects. And that wildling fellow with the beard... John isn't Tormund. John isn't Davos. Why are you bringing him up? <laughs> John is John. He's my brother. He'll keep me safe. I trust him. Then why did you lie to him when he asked you how you learned about River Run? Ooh. Called out. What was the answer? <laughs> I want to be on the same page. New dress. I made it myself. Do you like it? <gasps> I love yes. it. I like the wolf bit. Good. Because I made this for you. Damn, she's talented. I, I made it like oh, I love it. I used to wear. As near as I can remember. Thank you, Sansa. You're welcome. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> Don't knock it down while I'm gone. I'll do my best. <laughs> you got this, Ed. 
John came back to life with a bun or a ponytail, <laughs> didn't he? Yeah, he did. Like Ned. Did Ned have a ponytail early? No, he had like the half pony. Right, yeah, he did. Just like Ned, that's what it reminds me of. Should we close the gate, Lord Commander? I'm not the Lord Commander. Yes, you are. Yeah. <clears throat> close the bloody gate. <laughs> <laughs> you have to say it with a little, like, griminess. <laughs> close the bloody gate. We can go home now, Hodor. Maybe not home home, but somewhere that isn't a cave. Oh, oh no. Eat something that isn't moss. What's happening? Oh, winter's coming. You see their breath? Oh no. Is that him up front? It looks like something out of Mortal Kombat or something. And they created him, remember? Yeah. So he's like, moms. From besties to enemies. <gasps> Superhero pose. Get run and run! 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 Wake up! Run! Oh boy. Oh boy. Run! Wake up! Where's he at? Oh. He's worked worked out in the olden days. Mm -hmm. Hold on! Help me! Nice. The first grenades. <laughs> You're so clever, babe. I was waiting for something. No shot. He's just gonna walk. No shot. Oh, you gotta have high level clearance to get through the fire. <laughs> we'll flank the rear. <laughs> <laughs> but in a skeleton voice. <laughs> yeah. Bag hole or something. <laughs> Remember that you are a star. Comport yourself with dignity at the veil and try to stay out of fights. Oh, that's an yes, edit. And there's Hodor right there. But if you have to fight, win. Let's go. We want to lose somebody. No, please don't. They fighting for him though. Wake up, we need Hodor! Hodor, listen to your friend, Brandon. Hodor, Hodor. You see the music change? Because it's right. game time. Ah! Somebody needs to go. No. Oh no! How many wolves are left? Just one? One's missing. Oh, yeah, and right. ghost. Time has come. Leave me. Oh, that was crazy. Dude, uh, that was like his mission, didn't it seem like? The Nightman? I mean, uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the Nightman. Oh, three, yeah. Always the self sacrifice. Well, they've been alive forever. They're probably like ready to commit to the cause. Oh, let's go. Mm. <gasps> Insane. You better go. I love that Mirror is like protecting Bran like her dad did. Well, she's trying not to let her brother's death go to waste, too, you know? Yeah, because he kind of like led them there for the cause. Pull the door! Hey, that's the name of the episode. No, just the door. Yeah, the door. Pull the door! Pull the door! <gasps> Pull the door! Pull the door! He was saying that in the past? Oh, no. man. Is he, turn, is he saying Hodor? Oh, he said, okay, I see, I see, I see. Hold the door, turn into Hodor. That was low-key like his whole purpose, I felt like. Right, it's almost like Bran went back in time and gave him that purpose, and he... That was insane. Guys, let us know in the comment section if we missed anything there, but doesn't it seem like that? It seemed like when Bran went to the past, he affected things and then warged into him. All for that moment oh, that he needed him. Yeah. Wow. Hopefully we don't cry in this one. By we, I mean me. Man, she lucky she made it out. We lost a real one. It's almost like all that was supposed to happen. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of like prophecy in the right. show. Right. So, it's yeah. like the montage of what's happened. Burn them all! Where's my sister? I mean, she got far. Where's he at? Burn them all! So he saw where John was. Yeah, he's learning. He's learning that you have to burn all the um, dead people. Mira. They found us. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. I'm 
serious horse deck rider. Who are we missing? Who could it be? John's uncle? I feel like that guy was dead though, but I was gonna say the uncle. Benjin, Benjin or Benjin? Yeah, I think Benjin. But his horse came back, remember? Well, we didn't see him though. Right. Come with me, now. Yeah, I don't know if I knew that guy. That horse is like, hell no. Uh, that horse is like, woo. This ride got a little bit heavier. It's so green. Oh, yeah. Aw. Once you get south of the Riverlands, very different sorts of trees start to take over. Maple, elm, beech, poplar, the odd willow. And of course, now that summer's over, you'll start seeing the autumn colors coming in. She doesn't understand seasons because she's from, like, Snow World. Yeah. More green here than anywhere else. You're nervous. You're a nervous talker. Well, that's not any better, being a nervous mute. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever come back here after my father made me renounce my title and inheritance. And <laughs> oh, he's going back to his dad. He's going to be pissed. He's going to get rid of that problem. Feel welcome at that point. And I certainly didn't expect to be introducing him to my family. <laughs> but you know what to tell them. That little Sam is your baby. Yes. Now, that's very important. If he thinks that little Sam is his grandchild, he'll take you in. He'll, he'll get an education. He'll learn to read. And you can help teach him. What did you tell your family about me? I told them I met you in the north. Did you tell them how far north? Well, it, it wasn't a very large piece of parchment. <laughs> you didn't tell them where I'm really from. Yeah, you, you can't tell them. I'm a wildling. The thing is, he said it wasn't a large piece of parchment. My father doesn't like wildlings. <laughs> he <laughs> hoped I'd make a man of myself by killing some bloody wildlings. So it's probably a good subject to avoid, if at all possible. That's awkward. Yeah, I know she can't even like be honest about I her life at all. This is way different for her. <laughs> wow. Oh wow. So we're about to meet the Tarleys. Let's get it. Hopefully Sam sticks it to his dad at least once while he's here. Right. Or well, just hits him with a quick low blow. Maybe he pulls the crossbow out like Tyrion. Hello, mother. Aw. I never thought I'd see you again. You look wonderful. Oh. oh. Hello. You're a woman now. Father says I have to marry Simon Fossaway. He has yellow teeth. That's and enough. <laughs> She's really upset about it. That's the first thing she oh, said. Um, mother, this is Gilly. Oh, my. You are lovely. I am happy to know you, Lady Tarley. And this little Sam. This is our son, Samuel. Hello, little one. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, your grandmother. Oh. <laughs> May I hold him? Yes, of course. You have a curious mind, I can tell. You'll be a scholar like your father. Or he'll Where take the black father? like his father. <laughs> they come. They'll join us for dinner. Come inside. Come. You'll be wanting a bath after all that travel. Oh, and a dress for dinner. You can wear one of mine. Aww. What's your color? Well, he said that his uh, mom and sister were lovely. Mm -hmm. They have been. Dad, not so much. Is there no other way? You're afraid for her. Well, of course I'm afraid for her. It just seems very dangerous. She'll be protected the entire way. The faith militant are very stern with those who overstep their bounds. Yeah, don't say. And Queen Marjorie isn't your mother. She's truly opened her heart to them. She's always been very devoted to the poor and the unfortunate. And now she's devoted to the gods as well. I know, what if they crowd surf her the Would whole you way? Like to see her? It's like, <laughs> Queen Marjorie! <laughs> <laughs> you know, Cersei's just pissed all the I know, she'd be like, that's why I don't like that little harlot. <laughs> From Highgarden. <laughs> Have they hurt you? Have they mistreated you? No, Your Grace. I've missed you more than you could know we'll be together again soon and everything will be better than it was before better how soon the walk of atonement he says there's no other way have you spoken to him at all the high sparrow yes a few times have you he's not quite what we thought he was is he hmm. you think i'm mad i sound mad no you don't you, you could never you're right he's not he's a lot more he is there's something about him his way of looking at the world she ain't really buying in, is she? It's not an easy thing admitting to yourself what you really are. He's helped me. What are you talking about? You're a good person. You've always been a good person. You're the best person I know. <laughs> I, I was just telling him He's about so your devotion to the poor. Ah, yes. I visited their hovels and I fed them soup and I made sure I was seen doing it. Dang. I've had lots of time to think about how good I was at seeming good. All those stories I told myself about who I was and why I did the things I did. There were so many lies in those stories. I don't understand. It's all right, it really is. It's such a relief to let go of those lies. It's about Loris. I love my brother. I will always love my brother. His soul is pure and perfect. His sins don't erase that purity, they only obscure it. He just needs to atone for them. So she said she'll do whatever she's got to do to just get so out of here. Later, one way or another, the 
gods have a plan for us all. Hmm. Aww, she looks so cute. It's hard to walk in this. I was about to say, <laughs> his sister's a little smaller than her. It's beautiful. You're beautiful. Aww. I never thought they would be in the setting. <laughs> Ever. Me either. I thought they would always look like they were like, you know, scruffing <laughs> it out. Yeah. Eating things out the can. Oh, there he goes. The myth. Brought it down from 70 yards. One shot. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a fair distance. <laughs> he took <tough> still. <laughs> <laughs> so you do much hunting up at the wall? His name is Dickon. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, um, a good amount. Yeah, he killed a white. North of the wall, you don't hunt, you don't eat. Mostly deer or is it elk as well? Rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's squirrels. Sometimes white walkers. I say we. It's my friend John, mostly. Sometimes Ed. She's 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 quite quite a good hunter as well. No, she ain't. Huntress. She can hunt hunt a bowl of cereal you know, at the, the pantry. We once met a man, Lord Umber from Last Hearth, wasn't it, Randall? Who said he taught all his daughters how to hunt. Your father taught you to hunt. Our father would never teach us. I think That's a waddling thing. Could learn a thing or two from your father. That's enough of that. Samuel, would you care for more bread? Pass him over here. Not fat enough already. The carb shaming, I hate it. I travelled south under orders from the Lord Commander. He wants me to... I read your letter. You ought to be, um, mister. Yes, and, and, and once I have my chain, I'll return to Castle Black. I thought the Night's Watch might make a man of you. <laughs> Something resembling a man, at least. You managed to stay soft and fat. Spending your life reading about the achievements of better men. I'll wager you still can't sit a horse or wield a sword. Randall, to be maester of the Night's Watch is a great honor. He can wield a sword. Ooh. He killed a Then. They're cannibals. Killed a White Walker. <laughs> There's no such thing. Oh, yes, there he is. I saw it with my own eyes on our way down to Castle Black. He risked his own life to save mine more than once. He's a greater warrior than either of you will ever be. Your way down to Castle Black. Of course he, that's what he got from that. <clears throat> he kill a white walker. I know all that went over his head. Mm -hmm. Where are you from? You better not be north you from that damn wall. Son. The Night's Watch came to our keep. Where? North of the wall. North of the wall. The mom's like, oh no. She's he like, really honey, hates honey. <laughs> yeah. He really hates him north of the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Seven kingdoms have waged war against these savages for centuries, and here I sit, hosting one in my hall, thanks to my son. From his perspective, though, I can see how he hates his son. See that sword. Your the wildling killer. Uh -huh. In our family for 500 years. Valerian steel. Snag it. Only a handful of them left in the world. Supposed to go to my firstborn son after I die. He will never wield that sword. If he were to become Lord Tarly of Orn Hill, be the end of this house. I took you for a mole's town whore when I saw you and I made my peace with that. Who else would have him? I overestimated him. Wow. It was a wildling whore that seduced my son. You don't even know. Is you getting back at me, boy? Bringing that to my table and making me dine with it! And you got what you were after, didn't you? Bastard. A half-breed bastard. Your invitation. I've lost my appetite. He dishonors us. You dishonor yourself. Facts. Yeah, you and Dickens and they're being grumpy. Your mother's a fine woman. You're not worthy of her. Please her, I'll take the wildling in. You can work in the kitchens. <laughs> the bastard. You say your mother's a you fine see? woman, you're not worthy of her. <laughs> Jeez. This will be the last night you ever spend at Horn Hill. He's the worst. He's actually exactly how I pictured him. I'm sorry I let him treat you that way. I was afraid he'd turn you and little Sam away. I'm not angry at you. I'm angry that horrible people can treat good people that way and get away with it. <laughs> He's like, welcome to the world, unfortunately. When do you have to go? First light. <laughs> Say goodbye to him for me. I hope there's a time they can just You're relax, what he thinks you settle are, down. So. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know what you are. Goodbye, Huey. Nothing better happen to them. Eat any of those three. Yeah, go back for her. Sam? Get your things. I don't have any things. <laughs> what are you doing? We belong together, all of us. But where are they going? What about your mother and sister? Oh, they'll understand. Your sister's dress. She won't mind. Looks better on you anyway. That's your father's sword. <laughs> He's snagging the sword. sword. Yeah, the second I heard it was Valyrian still. Yeah, I was we like, needed yeah, we that. that. Yeah. Well, he he sees. He can bloody well try. Let's go, Sam. Oh, Lion that's when he cut the pie. <laughs> I thank the gods above. And to you, my beauteous bride, I pledge undying love. Hail King Joffrey. Hail Queen Marjorie. I'll drink a toast to my new queen. 
for there is no one fairer. Drink that long and deep, how it went down. King, from this cup of sweet wine, the last drink he shall ever take, and vengeance shall be mine. Mm -mm. Arya's smiling. <laughs> Arya's had to sit here and watch she, this for days now. <laughs> she gets satisfaction out of that. <laughs> She's moved to the front row. <laughs> Poison! Murder! Oh, I gasped! <laughs> I limp! Oh, and it was he that poisoned me. My evil uncle Im. That was good acting. <laughs> my firstborn son, my golden lion, foully, falsely slain. <laughs> Pray you found a lasting peace, free from strife. Yeah, probably not. Hear my prayer, oh cruel gods, take my life instead. For I cannot face another day when my sweet boy is dead. Oh, grief. <laughs> oh, darkest day, my heart is full of sorrow. What a hater. She like Loki wants to be here. Yeah, she oh, wants to butcher lost. her so bad. All joy is gone and there is no tomorrow. Arya's like, damn it, why would you have to humanize yourself so bad? <laughs> and she's even playing Cersei and she still humanizes her. <laughs> She literally hates her. What is that I hear and smell? Uh -oh. Someone I'll soon <laughs> who said Tywin Lannister shits gold. Oh. Ah! Oh. You beast, cast the day I named you. <laughs> <laughs> My greatest crime. So they just think Westeros is a straight circus. Like a shit show over there. <laughs> literally. Yeah. Fear me! Is he just trying to be vulgar like Tyrion? Lady Craig! Give this a good beating. Shake those fleas up. That's a deer. <laughs> That's a deer. The crowd was shit. Yeah. The crowd was so into it. What are you doing? <laughs> he just hated on the ground. I saw you the other day in the audience. How many times have you seen this stupid play? Three times. Did you pay? No. I remember when the players came to my village. I didn't have any money, so I snuck in. Just like you. Oh, no. Saw the painted faces, the costumes, listened to the songs, cried when the young lovers died in each other's arms. Wait, are you a reading that so wrong? I day. know. Never look back. You're very good. My final speech is shit. But to be fair to myself, which I always like to be, the writing's no good. So change it. It would all just be farting, belching, and slapping without you. How would you change it? The queen loves her son more than anything. And he was taken from her before she could say goodbye. She wouldn't just cry. She would avenge. She would be angry. She would want to kill the person who did this to her. And she definitely did. What's your name? Mercy. You have very expressive eyes, Mercy. Wonderful eyebrows. <laughs> Do you like pretending to be other people? I have to go. My father's waiting for me. She likes to pretend to be other people and no one. Lady Crane, they loved you. They were sweet. Or drunk. Drunkenly sweet. No laugh for Ned's death. These people. Worse than animals. <laughs> you are adored by people and animals alike. I do what I can with what I'm given. With what you're given? I was thinking. Oh, we're all thinkers now, are we? Fall to the tits with ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Why should my ideas have any more value than yours? This is like Simply Hollywood, the director's the actor. I know. <laughs> Who's anyone to judge my work? This is my profession. I know what I'm doing. You have no right to an opinion. Well, here's a drink. <laughs> Careful of that one. That was really good of her. She wants you dead. Dang. She saved her life after- Yeah, but she just betrayed the mini face god. See? Oh, she did. Why the hell was she standing right there? She's creepy. Because she, she, was she knows about her, else, but probably. she knows about her. She knows she's like, yeah. not. But Arya played that off, man. Needle's gone. Nope. Oh, it's still there. Yeah, you're not no one. You're Arya Stark. That'll Teacher's tell. bet, exactly. As I expected. Shame, the girl had many gifts. Oh, Ramsey and Essos. Don't let her suffer. <sighs> Come on. Oh, man. Yeah, that place turned sour quick, didn't it? <laughs> I didn't know Mace was a warrior. <laughs> right. You look so goofy in that. <laughs> My lord. My lord. My friends, hour has come. Madness has overtaken this city and grasped in its claws my children. But now <laughs> we must drive it back under the rocks whence it came. Madness has had its day. I mean, I respect him for stepping up. I mean, yeah. Rich or poor. Elena would have been a better choice for that moment. 
If we sin, we must atone. Marjorie of House Tyrell came to us a sinner. She stood before the gods in the Holy Sept. She turned a blind eye to her brother's sins. She disgraced her house, her king, and herself. This is really scary because they're gonna beat Marjorie to death on those stairs right there. Yeah, House Tyrell, baby. They said not today. Elena's like, yeah, bump all this. Oh, Tyrell. <laughs> Love her. Sorry to interrupt. We're here for Queen Marjorie and Sir Loras Tyrell. Give them to us and we'll be on our way. I don't have the authority to give them to you. And you don't have the authority to take them. That's right. That's right. The crowd's on his side. Oh, okay, Jamie. What? The spear! I speak for King Tommen of House Baratheon, first of his name. The gods don't recognize his authority in this matter. You've already insulted one great house. It won't happen twice. Every last sparrow will die before Marjorie Tyrell walks down that street. To die in the service of the gods would please each and every one of us. We yearn for it. So Sounds be it culty. Then. But there is no call for it today. <laughs> there will be no walk of atonement. Rain check. They're high sparrows, so they're not, right? But is she free to go? I don't know. Queen Marjorie has already atoned for her sins by bringing another into the true light of the seven. What does that mean? Bro, what's going on right now? He joined the cult too? What the? Look, it's on their shirts now. I mean, you know, their armor. Together, we announce a new age of harmony, a holy alliance between the crown and the faith. Man, you should talk to somebody about that. Little Tommen. Crown and the faith are the twin pillars upon which the world rests. Cersei Lannister. Together, <laughs> we will restore the seven kingdoms to glory. Man, there's a lot of theater going on in this, isn't there? I know. He don't even have to take a bath and he's up there with the king. You know what I'm saying? He's been up there getting <laughs> straight groomed up. He's beaten us. That's what's happening. <clears throat> if that man locked you up, there ain't no shot in 10,000 years I'm joining your side. <gasps> when you attack the faith, you attack the crown. Anyone who attacks the crown is unfit to serve as Lord Commander of the King's Guard. No, oh, man. I've been a member of the King's Guard since before you were born. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do anything. I have to answer to the gods. Not when you're sitting in that chair. Will I be walking naked in the streets? Or will I spend a few months in the Sept Dungeons first to teach me about the gods' mercy? You have served your house and your king faithfully for many years. Wow. And you will continue to do so. That's your whole damn. <laughs> I know. But not in this city. D exiled him. Like Jorah? You've lost it. <gasps> Dude, hey, let me, let me, let me pause. Let me pause. Guys, what if he, what if he goes and joins his brother? Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> him, Tyrion, and Daenerys how, just in there. Like... How the heck, how the heck did they, did he just exile his own pappy? <laughs> like this, guys. Uh, to be honest, man, King Tommen is the king who merged, bro. Like, right. what are you doing? Where did that come from? That was out of nowhere to me. Like, I know what you guys are going to say in the comments. No, you, you remember? You had a con Yeah, I get it, dude. It was out of nowhere. Well, maybe Marjorie had a talk with him that we just didn't see on the screen. Maybe we'll find out about it. The landscape of the Seven Kingdoms has changed forever. Well, I thought the guy was actually intimidated by the army. He's it's like, well, we will, but not today. <laughs> well, King Tommen seems a little intimidated by the idea that he sees all this corruption around him and he sees all this like well you know the moral decay of king's landing and i think the whole idea that like dude sorry yeah i think he's just scared i think he's really scared because he knows that he's probably not going to live that long and he's really starting to think about his like mortality and stuff then there's that son of a bee yes father it's a castle not a bloody sheep <laughs> presumably you still know where it is you didn't lose river run you let the blackfish take it from you. He surprised us. So that was true. He knows the castle better than anyone. You did lose the blackfish after the Red Wedding. You had him right here in this hall, and you let him leave. And when I told you to hunt him down and kill him, you couldn't find him. Oh, dang. That's what he it slipped. means to lose something. Now he's come back and taken River Run. It's impressive he did it, though. Yeah. Don't think it's fair to blame us. For 300 us. years, we kissed Tully Boots. Swore oaths to them and their stinking fish banners. Not again. River Run is ours. Take it back. We don't have the men. We've got ten times as many men as the damn Blackfish. The Malisters have risen against us. And the Blackwoods. The Brotherhood without banners is rallying the commoners against. River Run oh, yeah. could withstand a siege for a year. They're laughing at us all across the Riverlands, right down to King's Landing. They're laughing at us. I hear it in my sleep. 
I'm not dead yet, unfortunately, for you. And I'll not leave this world until they all choke on that laughter. Take that castle back. Damn, he is a bitter old man. I know. Never yield, father. Oh. He's gonna lead his house into the he ground. Yield. He'll You'll yield. show him the knife you used to kill Rob Stark's child in its whore mother's belly. And you'll show him the knife you used to open his niece's throat. And you'll remind him who it was that got married at the Red Wedding in the first place. His nephew. Where's he at? Oh, oh it's man. Him? Ed Edmund? Yeah. Oh, He's man. He's got long hair. He has short hair. Yeah, though. Lord Edmure. Oh, man. Edmure. Edmure. are going home. I'm being sent to deal with the Blackfish. Apparently, Walter Frey can't manage it on his own because he's 400 years old. <laughs> sent me with an army to the Riverlands in a siege that could last months. Better you're elsewhere at the head of an army than in the Scepter Dungeons. Oh, he has to do that. I'm not going to the Riverlands. What then? I'm going to give Bronn the largest bag of gold anyone has ever seen. Have him gather the best killers he knows. I'll take them to the Sept and I'll remove the High Sparrow's head and every other sparrow head I can find. You can't. He's torn our family apart. How should we treat people who tear us apart? We should treat them without mercy and we will. But if you kill the High Sparrow, you won't need the Sept alive and without you, this is all for nothing. So what you think? Stand at the head of our army where you belong. Show our men where their loyalties belong. Show them what Lannisters are. Make their names strong, right? Our enemies. And take that stupid little castle back because it's ours and because you can. You'll stand trial soon. I need to be here for you. It will be a trial by combat. I have Got the mat. mountain. Mm -hmm. The Franken mountain. They've made us both stronger. All of them. They have no idea how strong we are. No idea what we're going to do to them. Like I'm rooting for them, but not in that type of way. <laughs> right. Like I'm rooting for y'all's house name. I want y'all to get it we'll back a little bit. Together. It's more fun. We'll always be together. Only two people. I want to see Jamie back in charge of like the house though. Yeah. Why did you help us? Yeah, what are you doing? Three eyed Raven sent for me. The three eyed Raven's dead. Now he lives again. <laughs> He's right there, right? He's the three eyed <laughs> brand. When I last saw you, you were a boy. Lived to climb the castle walls. Who are you? That's your uncle. Uh uh. No wonder he's drinking rabbit's blood. He's been out there, boy. He's been suffering. Yes. The last letter John wrote me said you'd been lost beyond the wall. I led a ranging party deep into the north to find White Walkers. They found us. White Walker stabbed me in the gut with a sword of ice. Left me there to die. To churn. The children found me. Stopped the Walkers' magic from taking hold. The same way they made the Walkers in the first place. You saw it yourself. They stab you in the Dragon chest? Glass. Dragon glass. A shard of dragon glass plunged into your heart. That was what Sam used. I knew it. three-eyed raven now. I didn't have time to learn. I can't control anything. You must learn to control it before the Night King comes. One way or another, he will find his way to the world of men. When he does, you will be there waiting for him. And you will be ready. So Bran's got a big purpose in the show. He has the 1v1 the Night King? It seems like it. Like with no legs. Everything all right? How many days ride to Marine? A week at best. How many ships will I need to bring my callus out to Westeros? Dothraki and all their horses, and Sullid, the second sons. A thousand ships, easily. Probably more. And who has that many? Nobody. Your future husband? Nobody. Yeah, they're, he's building them up. <laughs> so we ride from the Reen, and after that, we sail for Westeros. And what then? I take what is mine. You weren't made to sit on a chair in a palace. What was I made for? <laughs> You're a conqueror, Daenerys Stormborn. She prefers Liberator, but okay. Right, he has that little conqueror little bug in her ear. Wait till you. Is that a dragon or a bird? Definitely a bird. Okay. Maybe an eagle. I thought maybe a dragon like far as hell away. I don't know. Oh, maybe it was a dragon. <laughs> maybe it was. Yeah, it looked like a It looked like an eagle. Man, look at that shadow of his castle. Mm-hmm. Healed. Nice. Dang, they're just down, ain't they? Yeah. What is she talking about? Tearing down their houses and all that? Like, literally? Yeah, but you know, does Rocky love that? Yeah, but I don't really know if I wanted to go tear down all their houses. Some of them are kind of nice. She can go tear down Ramsey's house. Yeah, I think that was crazy. Whew. All right, guys. So, man, Game of Thrones keeps getting crazier. So, uh, Daenerys completely has major ambition. She's uniting all these armies right now, and she needs ships. And what do you know? Over there at the Iron Islands, uh, what does that man ever die? 
Yeah. Turns out, turns out your boy is manufacturing all mass. He is, he is just. He has them in overtime mode. <laughs> he's gearing up. He said, "Let's just start." Oh, I'm picturing them chopping trees and like he. And then <laughs> when they're at their moments where they just can't do it anymore, he's like, "What's dead may never die," and they're like, "Okay, okay." Yeah. So they're they're building a fleet. Um, this show is kind of going crazy right now. It's all over the place, but definitely in a good way. Arya, when, when they do things like that, where they're so exact and precise, it makes me feel like they're very prophecy like. Yeah. Like when when she needs a thousand ships, like she needs a thousand, but he's building a thousand. It's almost like it all. It's almost yeah. like. It's almost like you know yeah exactly like prophecy like yeah someone orchestrated the whole event like it was right. like what they were meant to do. And yeah. the crazy thing is like the Melisandres of the world, which are like the Red Priestess, they all think they have like their person that they think it is. Right. And it's just it's just funny. I yeah. guess I guess it's just funny how it's like working where it could be like multiple people, you know? Well, it's funny because there's so much magic and stuff in the show that it kind of takes away like the faith element. Right. But by them being wrong in certain ways and by them like not always knowing exactly what they're seeing and misperceiving, it adds another layer that they really still have to have faith to. Yeah. Once you look into you the say, fire and oh, see God, you don't need faith anymore. Right. Like, you see it. Because when you, you say know? like the Lord of Light stuff you could perceive it in many ways. Like you could perceive it like the way Stannis was by burning people, or you could perceive it like the way Khaleesi is by having dragons. Like, right. It's really like, it's kind of reminds me of a rival where it's like a language. Like we don't really, they don't really know the language, but it's communicated. Yeah. So I don't know. I thought it was really interesting how Arya is on this mission to become this assassin who is basically given, is given souls to the many faced God, basically, man. And then, but she still ha has morals. Well, she has this realization her face is going to get chopped up and put on that wall. And she's like, I don't know about this. She starts questioning <laughs> the whole damn system. Because uh, at the end of the day, man, she's not from Bravo. She's from Winterfell. Well, I, think I took it as she, that's not, I took it as she can't kill someone who she feels like is a genuinely good person. She feels like the people who should die are the wrong people, the bad people. Well, that's what, yeah. Yeah, 100%. so when she saw that girl, like, mocking the other girl, like, you know, having just a lot of envy towards her. She kind of took it as, I would rather see that. If I have to kill someone, why can't it be that girl? Right. Right. So Arya's like, you know, battling with her moral compass. And well, she's, yeah, she's, she's going to be Arya Stark. I don't feel like no one's really in her cards to me. And she's definitely, I mean, yeah, she definitely sees that. Because everyone on her little hit list is an evil, terrible person who's caused pain and suffering to people like en masse. To so like her and like her family her friends, and friends. Yeah. yeah. And she just looks at this lady and she's like. At this point, this is just basically like putting voodoo pe voodoo spells on people. Like this is just this is just basically blood magic, right? Which is kind of what Stannis killed Renly with. Like, right. When they say it just doesn't seem right. When they say like death pays for death or life pays for death or something like that, what is it? Only only life pays for death. So, or only death pays for yeah, yeah. yeah. I get so what you're saying. either way, somebody paid something. So that's why that particular person had to die. So something some debt was paid you know well i think aria's whole thing is like okay all that's great but like why like you know then, why this person there's obviously a better candidate right so she's trying to make her own choices within like she's you know yeah well she went and she got her sword back and she said i'm done with this maybe she should have got out before she got hit in the face a hundred thousand times right. by that girl but that makes me kind of yeah. think that that really isn't what she's meant to do it seems like maybe it's a good idea because she's been lost throughout the seasons but like maybe it's just something maybe it's just something she doesn't she's not always going to do because she just keeps resorting back to that she's already a start right so i don't know we'll see with that well her dad was the man of honor so why would she go and be someone who's killing innocent people her dad would be really ashamed of that right like you know he he died for a greater cause than that i'd, I'd hope so he didn't die so that way his daughters could go on to be assassins killing innocent actress ladies mm -hmm. and stuff so that was really interesting. Um, it was interesting about um, Tommen. Like, that was shocking. What is that? That was shocking because we saw Marjorie have a little convincing with him. But then I didn't think it would go as to far. Like, you know. I wasn't sure what I was seeing. Right. I wasn't that. sure. I didn't that. know she was playing because, you know, if they're like, you know, if they're spying on her, she's like, well, you must understand that like, we must do. What right. We, that's what I thought. Right. Like, she's compromised. Right. Yeah. But I, I just couldn't get a grip on her body language. Like, even when... Right. Her, even when they pulled up. It was hard to tell. Yeah. Because when Tommen came out, it was almost like jokes on everyone. Like, we're actually really buying into right. this. And you guys don't really realize right. that. Right. Like, we didn't communicate that with any of y'all. Like... But it's really hard to imagine that because, 
on some level, Marjorie's an extremely strong-willed person, and it's really hard to imagine her. But I guess when you're locked in a dungeon by these people, it, it really can right. break you psychologically. When, so when you can even that. get water unless you listen to what they say, like it's like yeah, I can imagine, but it's it's just hard to imagine that Tommen went that way. I don't know. I, I thought it would take a little more convincing than that, and he would like you know resort ask Uncle Kevin is that the right thing to do. I don't well, know. I can Uncle understand. Kevin doesn't like it because Lancel. I can understand like. I can understand being tortured and being compromised and then like saying something that you don't agree with because you have to, I can get that, but I don't, it'd be, it'd be really hard to like convince me of something that I wasn't down with. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, but maybe when you're such a young, impressionable little boy, but is the king. I, I'm talking about Marjorie. Oh yeah. Marjorie. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know what's up with that. I don't want to speculate too much. We'll just really have to see. Yeah. We'll just have to let that play know, out a little yeah, more. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. Because it still hasn't said what's happening to Loris or anything like. <sighs> well, he's got it the worst. Yeah, he does. Yeah, they're doing him dirty. Um, but then after that, it kind of like Tommen's like losing of Tommen to that kind of made Cersei and Jamie kind of go back together. But that made Jamie like sacrifice his Lord Commander of the Knights of Kingsguard of the Kingsguard. So Jamie's gonna go lead the army to River Run now. Right. Which is great because I want to see Jamie. I want to see Jamie back in charge of the house. You know what I'm mm. saying? Like, if Jamie, he's if he's got to be a Lannister, please be. In, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like exactly. If he has to be in it's that, such a, it's such a complicated right. area with that. But I do like seeing. Well, because you know, on some level, even though the house is bad in like almost every way, in so many ways, like the world's bad in itself. So how mm. bad are the Lannisters right. overall? And in a lot of ways, man, like I'm definitely coming to like Jamie a lot more. Right. So. And, it's just and good they're to see getting him, uh, they're getting like punished. The Lannisters are right. getting punished for their life. You know, like Cersei had to do that atonement. Jamie loses his hand. They lose their kids. Like Tommen's the only one they got. Like, and he he's being lost to the high sparrow. It's just like they're being punished for all the bad stuff they've done, you know? Well, it's almost like Varys. I'm I'm feeling like Varys right now. Like, I just want what's best for the realm. And it really got me thinking because I just thought about that. And I was thinking, like, by Varys leaving the realm and going to join Daenerys, is is he still doing what's best for the realm? That's that's mind? what I think. I you think, know what I'm saying? I think he picks what's best based off, like, what he really thinks. And when he heard those bells going off, he kind of knew Westeros was screwed. What did you think about the Hodor brand thing? Oh, my gosh. You think Bran went back into the past and basically, mm. like... You think that was the show's way of showing that like it was all just meant to be right? Like Hodor's and that's more like to adding brand. to the prophecy type right. feel to the show. It kind of just shows that like that moment he was saying Hodor for so long. We're like, why is this man doing this? Like he just says his name. He's a Pokemon. He's like, but it meant right. His name's really Willis or something. Willis or Willis. But that's crazy that like all of that was for that very particular moment for him to escape and be the three eyed raven. Right. Nuts. Not if you really think about it. Yeah, which we're going to see that play out, I guess, later in the show. And just how down everyone was to sacrifice for Brandon was what makes me, like, really scared they for really what's to come. They really believe in that, yeah. Yeah, like, when the children in the forest were like, all right, I got my last grenade, like, let's do this. And, like, that's all they had left, and they did it. So, that to me shows that Brandon is very important, right? Like, mm -hmm. whatever he is going on. Yeah, whatever's going on up there, that's a little... <laughs> out of everything in the show, guys, to be real, that's the part I probably like the least amount, is the whole Three-Eyed Raven part. Just because it just seems so... Well, I guess, in a sense, it is so, like, mythological. And, like, and I honestly, I kind of like the aspect where he's like, hey, man, let, let me teach you a few things. Like, let's work out real quick, brother. They work out, and then all of a sudden, he's like, oh, shoot, you let him touch you? I told you don't do it. And then, boom, then the long night, I guess, is about to happen. So it's like he kind of was introduced, but, like, not. So he's going to have to wing it. That gave me, like, Lord of the Ring vibes. Like, when you put on the ring and then the eye arm, he it sees you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what that reminded me of. Yeah, that, honestly, I think that makes it, to me, cool because we could have learned all the steps of the Three-Eyed Raven and all that, but now we have to wing it with Bran. Right. We're going to wing it with Bran. Yeah, we, he didn't get that much training at the end right. of the day. Right, he's, he's like that, the second right. day we're short-staffed, you got to come on. Yeah. The highlight of this episode to me, though, guys, was definitely, uh, what's what's that dude's name who pulled up to the Iron Islands? Oh, you're, you're on? You're on, that's his name, I got to remember that. What a name. You're on pulled up. And Theon's like, they're like, Theon, yeah. And Theon's like, and she's like, it's going to be me. And they're like, nah, no girls allowed, right? They completely <laughs> just say, heck no. Nah. Theon 
basically endorses his sister and everyone's like yeah theon's sister theon's sister and then he pulls up like, yeah he wasn't even on time for the election so, he wasn't even on time he pulled up late basically an independent one which yeah is wild that man <laughs> hasn't been in politics for he's been checked out of public service for like eight years and then he just shows up assassinates president <laughs> Shakes him off the a election. bridge. The craziest way to kill someone, shake him off a bridge. Like, that. like imagine you go throw an old man off a bridge. You're like, like I'm not how horrible. Are yeah, you? but if I'm that old man, why would I take that rickety bridge ever? <laughs> that old man was like, I'm gonna stand my ground. He was like, even if it cost me my life. <laughs> I don't know, man. That part was kind of wild to me. He pulled up and he basically. But that made the prophecy real to me. Like he when came he, up, he's <laughs> like, he's like, we're gonna create five million jobs. Five million. We're gonna build the biggest fleet. The biggest. Fleet. Basically, basically, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Basically, Basically. And he won an election, man. Well, good job, good job by you. So, like, he literally, like, he said, "Y'all been doing the same sh- different day for how long?" But I'm gonna go marry the queen and build. Y'all are gonna build all these ships, and I'm gonna go marry the queen, and they're down. That's what's so crazy to me. I will say though, I do admire his confidence. Right, he's about to just go seduce the queen. Honestly, but. he's like the biggest baller in the show. <laughs> like he just yeah. comes in. Like a lot of people probably like have fought for many like decades over the Iron Islands, and this man took it single handedly. Well, it's kind of <laughs> just like in politics. Like you got your like your lifelong politicians, and then sometimes you just get like a newcomer who's just kind of new to politics in that way and they just shake it up kind of like right. he, did. he didn't even need someone to like stick up for him he, he had just... a brand new message and hey he said i'm one of the people boys i you know i don't even know man we're gonna be back with some more game of thrones guys like comment subscribe hit us up on patreon if you want to see the uncut extended uh reactions and yeah i'm Peace. loving this oh did we talk about sansa do we need to say anything about sansa and little finger Probably so. Yeah, let's talk about Sansa and Littlefinger. Yeah, sorry, guys. Sorry, this is very important. <laughs> yeah, okay. So Sansa, we saw her kind of like not tell John the whole truth about Littlefinger because it kind of seems like Sansa kind of took what Littlefinger, I think Littlefinger said it. He's your half brother. Like, make sure you, you like are cautious with him because he could still kind of betray you, which is just weird because I don't see that vibe, but Littlefinger is putting that seed in Sansa's head. Right. Which is scary. But if I'm Sansa at this point, I have a deep disdain and disgust for Littlefinger. So right, you it'd just be sold, so hard not to have you that. You sold me off to like literally the worst family you could possibly like the two worst families. Like first I had to go to the Lannisters, which is like, you know, not really my not really your fault, but kind of your fault because you started everything. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Basically he did that. So what do you think Littlefinger's plans are? Do you think he's trying to shake it up or is he trying to actually help Sansa out? Shake it up. Hundred percent trying to shake it up. Um, but he told the truth because the Blackfish really did take River Run back. Well, yeah, but everything he does serves for a double agenda. So, I mean, he can tell the truth and still be self-serving. I just don't see how it's going to help him. I'm I don't know to- how the show is going to wrap it up that ultimately Littlefinger is going to betray. My prediction, obviously, is Little Littlefinger is going to betray someone. Someone of importance will die because of some rumor or some mis. <gasps> you know what he could do? He could try to be setting up because maybe he knows that King's Landing is going to have to attack River Run. And maybe he's just trying to set it up where, like, they have to come head-to-head at River Run. Well, Littlefinger seems to have this strategic... Littlefinger seems to want to weaken everyone. Right. Like, Littlefinger just feels like his best opportunity is to make every house... You know, it's kind of like how you win a Fortnite game. Just let everybody kill each other and come in at the end. <laughs> you know, it's that simple yeah. for Littlefinger. You know, because he's yeah. not the... You know, he doesn't have the best aim, but if he can just camp in the bushes until the end of the fight he might have a shot yeah, with him and robin <laughs> right but i don't really know how the app i don't really know how the show is gonna like set all that up yet like because i was following it along a lot yeah. early on when it was saying that xyz happened and it was all orchestrated by little finger and yeah. i can understand and then next thing you know he's seducing sansa and i was mm-hmm. thinking I was thinking Littlefinger was going to try to marry Sansa. Yeah, to get the North, right? That's right. What I, thought. That's so what I, I thought it was just going to be easy. In my easy. mind, in my mind, Littlefinger wants to take Winterfell. Yeah. Right. And it was like he couldn't get Catelyn Stark, so that's the next best thing. I've kind of been stuck on that idea for a minute yeah, now, me but it's too. not really playing out right. yet. Yet, but it will hopefully. But I like him know. giving Sansa to the Boltons, I don't know when I when he was in the North messing around with that, I figured something about that. Well, he was just giving Sansa to the Boltons in a way to just weasel himself into the good graces of the Boltons because. He's going to need everybody a little bit for whatever side he decides to well, ultimately be on. All Littlefinger basically needs to do is be invited to dinner. So if he's being invited to dinner by the Boltons, then that's going to lead to him doing this. And that's going to lead to this. And then, you know, he's, he's going to send a raven to the Night King. And he's already, <laughs> you know, and basically where, where Littlefinger's at, he basically has power in the veil right now. Right. But what else? 
I mean, that's what I'm He's saying. He's not just stuck at the veil. Yeah. There's got to be a lot more going on behind the scenes that we're not seeing. That's what I'm saying, but... Right. That's what I was saying earlier. I think the show's at his best when Littlefinger's involved. That's yeah. kind of what I meant by that. I feel like... Because he's so sneaky. Like, I don't want to get away so from many, that. He has so many just, like, sneaky little things that he's put in all these people people's minds that it's, like, it's hard to keep up with, and that's what makes it sneaky. Like, I wanted to see Littlefinger get into the ear of Ramsay at some point. Right. Like, I was really hoping that I could see Littlefinger maybe use the psychotic nature of Ramsay to his own advantage. But, mm-hmm. like I said, I, Littlefinger's sort of been left out a little bit lately, and that's kind of why I made that comment. Do you think he'll ever sneak sneak on, like, get a word out to Daenerys, Littlefinger, ever? I would hope that on some level she would just be like, I'm not messing with a little weasel. Cause right, because Tyrion so knows sneaky. him very well. <clears throat> I'm from the fingers of the veil. <laughs> I don't know. He's just creepy to me. I don't know. I, what else? I, I mean, I don't know. I just hope that I, I see John and Sansa. I guess my prediction is they're going to go fight Ramsay, and I don't know how that's going to happen. I really don't know what's going to happen with that. I have no idea. All right, guys. Uh, we'll tune in to more for sure. We'll see you on the next one.